this is the package that they gave me. I was very grateful to receive three pieces of jewelry. These are the Aquarius hoop earrings and they are priced at $59. I have never seen coin earrings that are hoops and I think that this is just a really, really beautiful pair. This is the Ina Gold. This is priced at $45 right now actually. It's marked down from $59. This is an amazing piece that I think is a nice everyday necklace. This is the Joe Gold priced at $49. I really like how it's so simple. Honestly, I think that this is a beautiful gold necklace just to wear by itself or it's such a nice versatile layering necklace. For earrings or for any of my jewelry pieces, I like to invest in it because it's so annoying to have to take them off. So I always keep on my necklaces and my earrings. I've always had this thing about jewelry where if it's gonna rust, do not waste my time. But luckily these pieces are all beautifully made and they are great quality. So I will have no issue with that. Catherine's now in my room. Don't mind that pimple. Disgusting. Here's the gold hoop earring. Super cute. Yes. Thanks. They're my Aquarius. Oh, I like that. Well, Catherine, you want to know something great about them? <laughs> do you have a, right a poopa code? There's a Mother's Day sale going on. So if you buy one, you get 35% oh, off your second. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful length. Okay, we're gonna try on the Ina Gold. Oh, we love it. <laughs> this is them together, but I don't think I would wear them together. You can just see the Ina by itself. It's really pretty. Hey, hey, hey. How's that? It's so pretty. All right. Make sure to check out Anna Luisa. Catherine's going through and all. They have cool stuff. They do have cool stuff. <laughs> Okay guys, we shall start this transformation. Clearly right now, I look like this, but it's fine because I'm gonna look like a soft baby very soon. So I already put on my skincare and some lip balm. I'm gonna put on this base. This is from Jung Temur. I haven't put on makeup in so long. Oh, I have a beauty blender thing. I should wet this. I can also wet my small one. I am back. And I have my beauty blenders wet. So I'm just gonna blend this into my skin. So I was looking at my closet and I realized that there are a lot of moments when I experience myself being a soft girl. And then I'm gonna take this Clinique All About Eyes. It reduces circles of puffs. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes because sis got bags from Gucci to Louis and Chanel and back. I don't even remember if concealer goes first or foundation. Any concealer should be first. This is Innisfree's My Concealer. Guys, I got this in Korea in the summer and let me just tell you that it's so hard to find a shade in Korea that is my actual shade. My foundation that I have I also got from Korea at the same time. I got the darkest shade that they had and let's see if it'll be okay right now I feel like I look a bit tanner so the color match might not be that accurate but we are gonna trust that it is oh wow this is makeup this already looks really pale but I feel like there's a huge change in my face already I don't know if that's a good thing but wow makeup definitely takes a long time <laughs> Oh, I should do my nose too because I got some redness out there. Beep, beep, beep. We're gonna go into the big guy. This is my foundation from Etude House. I have it in the color Amber. I'm actually quite sure that it is the darkest shade, so. Wow, foundation, don't know her. I literally do not put on foundation. I think if I did wear makeup every day, it would just be a lip color, a little bit of my eyebrows, a little bit of eyeliner. Yeah, I think that'd be it. But I feel like today I wanna kinda go for like a peachy look. I have a coral set that I think I will use for today. So exciting, I know. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll film a TikTok later because the efforts that I'm putting in this video <laughs> is amazing and I might as well get another TikTok out of it. All my TikToks are like me and my PJs or me after I work out so I look just so presentable. Foundation is done. Wow, I already feel like there's a huge change in my face. Moving on, I think it's highlighter next. <laughs> So I'm gonna take this Too Cool For School art class highlighter. Wow, oh, wow, that's really nice. A little bit on my nose. I feel like just the key word in this video will be uwu, because I feel very uwu. And then we're gonna kind of cut my face a little bit, but I don't even know how to cut my face. This is also the same brand. Funny story, when I was in Korea in the summer, I left all my makeup at home. So I bought new makeup when I was there, and like a lot of these things that I am using right now is from that summer and honestly I think that was kind of a good mistake that I had made because I haven't purchased makeup in so long and so all the makeup that I did have at home was kind of old. It was a blessing in disguise if you ask me. You know the people who wake up two hours extra early to do their makeup? I like 
like two extra hours for sleep. There it is, last but not least for my face, I'm gonna go in with powder. This is the No Sebum Mineral Powder and I'm just gonna get some on here. Take this brush, set my face. All right, great. Now let's get into the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my 3CE palette. This is in Overtake. And just start off with a neutral color, probably just that one. And just put it on my eyelids. And I'm gonna try to put a little bit underneath too, like that. I'm like watching myself in the viewfinder and I realize just like, wow, this, this little extra effort makes myself look a little better, but it's okay. I love myself. It's fine. And then we're gonna go in and take this matte Etude House eyeshadow. Unfortunately, I don't know what the color is because the sticker fell off, but it's this really cute matte coral and I'm just gonna take it and I put it on my eyelids. I'm feeling this one. This is the Miraholic Liquid Eyes. What I like to do with these kind of liquid eyeshadows is I like to take one of these eyeline brushes because the doe foot applicator is a bit too wide for my waterline. So I'm gonna go in, take some of this. Let's zoom in. It makes my eye look so much brighter. And I feel like this is like a huge pro tip in Korean and Asian beauty products. A lot of Korean girls like to do this extra sparkle like that. Can you see the difference? Ta-da! Just to go in on top to kind of solidify the liquid, I'm gonna try and take this one right here and I'm just gonna dust it on top. So that's a little bit about my um, that's a little bit of my eyes. Sometimes I like to do eyeliner before mascara and vice versa, but I think I'm gonna do oh, what do I do today? I think I'll do eyeliner first. I haven't done eyeliner in so long, so I wanna get this out of the way. I'm just gonna do like a really, really thin natural line. Ah, very natural. Okay, one side done. Please let me do the other side. There it is. I just kind of did like from the middle of my eye down. We're not gonna touch it anymore. I don't want to risk it. So we're gonna let this dry a bit before I go into curling my eyelashes. And then we're gonna curl it. Okie dokie. My mascara base. I'm gonna go in with Etude House's Dr. Mascara Fixer. Ooh, ta-da. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit, so I'm gonna put on my brows. I'm just gonna try to make it look a little bit filled. My eyebrows are really, really much so cousins, not twins nor sisters. It's so hard to make them look the same because they look really different to me. They're just shaped differently, but that's okay. I don't make it like a defined shape. I just try to work with what my brows look like and then pray that it'll be fine. I haven't threaded them in a very long time. Sister's gone, so it's just you and me. But yeah, so my eyebrows just, they are not good, but I am working with what I have, so good. Okay, cool. So I'm slowly starting to look more of like a girl, so that's fun. So now it's mascara time. There's a chance. Ooh, shiz nits. Okay, <laughs> BRB. I kind of got a little bit of the mascara on my eyelid a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and fix it real quick. Doesn't look like it's really fixable, but that's okay. We're working with what we got. I'm just not gonna zoom in. So I think that the main point that I'm missing though is more sparkle in the inner corner. I'm just gonna take this Innisfree one, number 11. Just doing the inner corner. Okay, so these are the eyes. Lips, this is this is the point. This is the pointer. Laneige, number one. The whole ombre lip effect, I'm gonna try and accomplish that. You see how that layers on my lip like that? Like it's only more towards my middles because that's the way this lip bar is. Oh, okay, that was not my intention, but that's fine. Oh, frick, <laughs> we're fine. Okay, well, I thought that this would work better right now, but just to accentuate it just a bit more on the ombre effect, I'm gonna try and go in and add this on top. This is from Romand in number seven, Jujube. I'm just gonna put it in the middle and then brush it only in that area. It smells so good. I'm not really sure if that made a difference, <laughs> but regardless, makeup is done. Yay, Kristen is a little bit more presentable. Now that this is all set, should we do the outfit or the hair first? I think I'll do my hair. 
So because my hair just looks kind of like this right now, I feel like the soft girl always kind of has like a cute little half up, half down vibe. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyone can do this if you have hair and long pieces. Uh, oops. So. Oof. So. So I have a lot of baby hairs, but yeah, hair is done. So this is my outfit right now. I'm gonna transform. Are you ready? I don't know if you are. Sakura outfit transformation in three, two, one. Yay! So this is a dress. It's been a while, but I'm wearing this dress and I thought it'd be cute to pair it with this urban outfitter scrunchie. It's like a nice Cinderella blue. Just in case it gets a little chilly, I thought it'd be nice to add a cardigan. I think that's very soft girl vibes. The dress is from Old Navy. I don't really shop at Old Navy that much. That one time I went inside, it was a great experience. This is the look. As for the jewelry, I thought the Joe Gold would just look nice and pretty and delicate with the outfit in itself. Just making it nice and simple. And my Aquarius hoop earrings. And I think this is just a really cute going to a picnic vibe. But yeah, this is outfit number one that I thought would look really cute as <laughs> I'm shy, but I'm also cute, so like talk to me. There's this one, okay. We go in. Outfit number two. This is a cute gingham dress from H&M. I thought it'd be really cute to pair with this look today. Hair scrunchie, it's a green scrunchie from Urban Outfitters as well. And my necklace, I decided to pair it with the Ina Gold from Ana Luisa Jewelry. And I thought it was just a cute addition with the neckline since this dress is more square shaped and same Aquarius hoop earrings. Yeah, so I thought this was a cute look to make myself feel more of a soft girl. Okie dokie guys, this is basically it. This is my soft girl transformation look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to comment down below. I feel like this look was a lot similar to just what I could wear every single day. So maybe you guys think I could be a soft girl. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa Jewelry again. Because it's Mother's Day, they're also having a buy one, get one 35% off your second purchase, which I think is a great deal. So if you guys want to get some cute pieces from them, I highly recommend checking them out. Get something for you and your mom i think it'll be a really great special little gift that you can give i have all their links and everything you should know about this amazing brand down below so please make sure to go check them out that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much stay safe and until the next one i'll see you later bye